All right, folks, you've seen part one, or at least I hope you have. If you haven't, go check it out right now. But if you've seen it, here's part two. And this part, obviously, will go to world two. Let's just jump right on in. All right, let's go. I believe there's a one-up in this area. Oh, no, it's on the other side, I think. Yeah, it's in that block, right? The block I'm standing on, it's right here, but I don't know how to get it. Oh, well. I'll be fine, I guess. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this is the first level type of vine. I'll take that. Why am I trying to hard for coins? I'll just leave it at this. Nah, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I believe that's where the vine is. I should probably go hit it before I miss my chance. Yeah, I might as well climb the vine before I make the vine despawn. Because the coins you can get on the vine are much more than the ones you can get on the two-item block. Guys, if I get all the coins, never mind. I was gonna say if I get all the coins, you have to subscribe. But subscribe anyway. The reason why I missed those two coins is because those you haven't subscribed yet haven't subscribed. If you guys subscribe, I mean, you know who you are. If you subscribe, then I'll get all the coins next time. I love these trampolines, but they're so annoying to time sometimes. And in the lost levels, you bounce so much higher. Like, it's insane. Also, I don't know about you guys, but the lost levels kind of feels like a ROM hack of this game to me in a way. Alright, here we go. First underwater level. Normally, I hate these, but as Fire Mario, it should be pretty easy. Also, I don't think- never mind. I was gonna say, I don't think this one has bloopers, but it does. Bloopers are basically the bane of my existence in this game. Right for most people who've played this game, I'm assuming. And now you can't jump out of the water in this game. And I believe there's like currents that suck you down. Although you can't really see them, they're there. Oh no. So one thing I haven't shown you guys yet, in this game, if you're Fire Mario and you get hit, you go right back to Small Mario. I'm just gonna swim over everything. Yeah, there's the current. It's like trying to pull you down. Nah, not worth it. Alright, and that's it. Easy. Oh, uh, I didn't think I made it up to the top. That's why I messed that up. Oh well, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Oh, I love these levels, the one where you just- where all the fish jump. Normally, I just like to try running straight through a level, but I don't think that's the best idea, because I would have died by now. Oh, that was so nerve-wracking. I was at 5,000, yeah, I'm telling you. They're generous with the points in this game. Unlike another game I've played. <coughs> Alright, here we go. Let's hope I don't die in the, in the first pit I see. Alright, progress. Oh yeah, just like the final castle in uh, New Super Mario Bros. Ooh, how did I not get hit? Oh my god. I'm so amazed I didn't get hit at that. I don't know what that noise I made was though. But yeah, just like in uh, New Super Mario Bros.'s final castle, the castle for worlds 4 and 7 have like branching paths and if you pick the wrong one, you go back to the beginning. 
Alright, there we go. Just saying the first Bowser is a Goomba. I'm gonna try to defeat all of them with Fire Flowers. Because you get to see what they're all disguised as. Except the last one. The last one's obviously not disguised as anything. But yeah, this series is gonna be very short. The game's kind of fast-paced. If you go through the game fast, then you're good at the game. Just like your boy. Anyway, folks, that wrap it up for part two of the Super Mario Bros. Long Play. If you guys like this, comment, like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you around.